Ashley here and today we are going to get into my current top 10 favorite anime. I can't believe we're doing this right now. I'm so excited for this video so let's just get into let's it. Let's start with my anime story. So uh, it started about four years ago. I always wanted to watch anime. My sister and I, we would be watching something else and that commercial for <laughs> Sailor Moon would come on and we'd be like, mom, we want to watch that. And she couldn't find it anywhere. So my mom couldn't access <laughs> uh, Sailor Moon or any anime for us. I'm not sure why, but anyway, that was, you know, back in the 90s. We really wanted to watch anime, but we just couldn't get our hands on it. So you know, life progresses in high school. My now husband and all his friends, they would be in there talking about Naruto and all of this stuff. I was so uninterested back in high school. I was way more into music at the time. I would be, you could catch me in the studio, okay? <laughs> Writing lyrics, rapping, recording music, all that stuff. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I was doing. And then now here we are, hubby reintroduced me um, about four years right ago, around like, the time or right before we got married. He reintroduced me to anime. Ever since then, I've been in love. I'm just, I'm hooked, you guys. I'm hooked. This year was my first anime convention. We went to MomoCon, which I will talk about more in depth a little bit later. All right, y'all, so this list was so hard. It was really hard, and I still don't feel 100% like, I don't want to say confident, because I'm confident in my choices, but I just feel like, should I, should I? No, it's good, it's good. You know, like, no, this is good, and it's like, I'm still trying to convince myself that it's good, <laughs> but it is, it's good. I'm I'm done. The list is done, and and that's how we're going to do it. There's so much that I haven't seen yet, and that really sort of affects it because I know some anime is really good but I haven't seen it I'm I'm still sort of a newbie you guys so I haven't seen a lot of shows but I I try not to pick I also this is another thing because I have started a lot of anime and didn't finish it so I did my best not to pick shows that I haven't finished as we go along I'll tell you what shows I haven't finished and what shows I did finish and some st shows are still playing. And with that being said, I don't read manga. This is my first manga box set right here. So this will be my first time reading it whenever I, whenever I open it up. Another thing is that I'm the girl that will wait for the English dub. I, I, I'll watch it in Japanese if I have to, but I would do my best to wait for the English dub because I don't like hearing the different voice actors like once I'm used to a voice I want to hear that voice it would probably be the same the other way around like if I started an anime in Japanese I would not want to hear the English dub because the changing of the voice actors would probably irritate me and I know Hubby is very picky about that too. Like he's the other way around. He prefer to watch it in Japanese and then he'll listen to the, he's like, let's see if the English dub is trash. <laughs> or I feel the other way around. Like, let's see if the Japanese dub is trash <laughs> or the, or the sub. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still learning my terminology as well. Okay. I tend to judge anime or any movie for that matter or show by the ending. I, I heavily judge things I watch based on the ending. So just kind of keep that in mind. Lastly, <laughs> I need to warn you guys, I have a very strange taste in anime. I like the weird, quirky type of stuff. Hence, you know, aura. <laughs> yeah, I just I just want to put that out there. A little, a little warning. This may get Number intense. 10, Samurai Shampoo. So I really liked Samurai Shampoo. I thought it was entertaining. Mainly, you guys, I got a crush on Jean. <laughs> That's really what it was. And it was a good overall like show. I, I liked it. I liked how they were always getting into something. Like something is always going on 
with the three of them and it was it was funny to me i i enjoyed it now i'm gonna be honest with you it wasn't to me and i know this is crazy that i'm about to say this it wasn't like super memorable but the pieces of it that i do remember were great and and i would watch it again and that's how it got in a number 10 spot because it's something that if i feel like i'm gonna watch it again then you got me. I'm sold. It's good. It's good because I'm going to watch it again. Number nine, B-Stars. Haru and Lagoshi have the strangest, most interesting relationship that there is. And I absolutely love it. It's so sick and twisted and I, I can't get enough of it. It's really the reason for me liking B-Stars as much as I do. I love the mystery right, I was aspect. trying to find out who killed Tim. It was so good. I, I liked what I saw and I can't really talk about it without spoiling it. <laughs> so if, you, if you're interested in very strange anime, that's definitely one of them. Um, one thing that I can say about the show is I love how they do like the herbivores and the carnivores in a world where they have to live together and get along. It's so interesting the way that they play up society and how society can be using animals. And I thought that was a very nice twist for an anime. Number eight, Death Parade. Death Parade is so awesome. I love the way that everything is so dramatic, especially with those games, like the games that they have to play before they are able to be judged and if you're unfamiliar with death parade basically it's you go there after you die and then Deckham decides whether or not you go to heaven or hell and it's not really heaven or hell but you know they, they'll explain all of that if you decide to watch it but it's so good because the true person comes out in these games they play the games so that the arbiter, arbit, arbit, I can't say it. So that Deckham can observe the person in their heart and see how they were, how how they lived their life, and if they should be reincarnated or if they should go into the pit of no more. So I, it's not that's not what it's called. That's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it the pit of no more. Just go watch it. You have to go watch it to see what I'm talking about. However, 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 my little tiny issue that I have with Death Parade is the ending, which is why it's higher up on the list because I feel as though they could have done so much more with that show because it was so good. It They could have elaborated on so many different, different things that was, it was just left out. Making this video is harder than I thought because I don't want to spoil the anime for those of you who haven't seen it. So I want to just try to tell you what I like about it, but I'm trying to do it in a in a very general sort of way without being too in-depth just in case you want to go watch it. So yes, I just feel as though they left some things out at the end of Death Parade and it could have either been done a little more in a little more detail or and what I would prefer is for them to come on here with season two because it was that good to me it was so good that there can be a season two and maybe I'll make a dedicated video to Death Parade to give you my thoughts on what I think season two should be about number seven fruits basket Oh, M, gosh, one, the cuteness, two, the the weird thing, if they hug a girl, poof, they turn into their zodiac animal, which is why I love it so much, and it's just so good. I love the fight, the ongoing fight between, <laughs> between the cat and the rat. I think it's freaking amazing, you guys. The story is so well written. I really wish that I could have pushed this further up on the list, but it had to be at number seven because of what the rest of them are. I really, really, really 
enjoyed this anime. I love it when it's a good, well thought out, I feel complete at the end of watching it. Because I've seen some anime that left me disappointed with the ending and I, I don't like it. So <laughs> that's another thing. I try my best to watch something that I either I think like this may have a really decent ending or at least an okay ending. But Fruits Basket had an amazing ending. It was just so very well done and I loved it. I love the storyline. I loved the... Oh, the storyline. Y'all, the drama. <sighs> it was so good. That that was a really... Mm. Number six, Black Butler. Yes! With Seal Phantom High. I love Black Butler. It was so good. Yet again, another one with the storyline is good. It's just so good you get it from beginning to end they don't leave anything out I freaking love that about anime and oh my gosh with the demon butler yes Sebastian <laughs> yes he is on it he's always on it and he's just he's amazing he's amazing I love black butler I love love the ending that ending was so good let me know if you if you watch Black Butler tell me what was your favorite part about it for me it was the ending again I am realizing how extremely difficult it is to give you guys this list and tell you what I like about the show in a roundabout way as to not spoil it for the people who haven't seen it already but if you haven't Black Butler so good love detective shows it's ugh. And that's not just for anime with me liking um, things that have to do with like detective. I, I love it. Wednesday, that was on Netflix. That's the last thing I watched. I just finished that yesterday. It was so good with her doing all her digging to find out who was the hide. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. It was so good. Moving on. <laughs> Number five, Oran High School Host Club. It's just so cheesy in a good way i love the the boy on boy <laughs> romantic scenes i know that's called something i can't remember what it's called but it was so entertaining to me <sighs> again i'm trying not to spoil anything i love how they are they stick together as a host club and the relationship that they all have with one another is hilarious. It's just so funny. And it's like a group of friends coming together for a cause. And it's a good cause, but man, those are some wacky episodes. And I really enjoy every minute of it. Wait till you see what number one is if you think Oron is wacky. <laughs> number four, Death Note. Yes, y'all know Death Note was on this list. Come on. Oh, and gosh. Ryuk with Kira out here killing people with his pen. Again, we're back to the detective thing and I really love it. So good. It was so good. Oh my gosh. And here we go. The ending. Now, the ending of Death Note, I know a lot of people, they didn't agree with it. But I did. And I, again, we'd have to make a separate video because, and the reason why I'm trying so hard not to spoil, I know I sound like a broken record. I'm trying so hard not to spoil any of these for those of you who haven't seen it yet. But I agree with the ending. And the reason why is because it was stated previously in the beginning that that was going to happen like that. And it is what it is. I thought it was really well done. Absolutely love Death Note. And on to number three. Top three, you guys. Naruto. Love Naruto. Kakashi Sensei is bae. Yes, he is. I absolutely love Kakashi. Neji with his awesomeness. Oh, so many characters. And that's what I love about Naruto. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I just realized I haven't told you guys if I'm finished with these or not. I'm not finished watching Naruto because Netflix, or where was I? Hulu, wherever I was watching it, they stopped at the they stopped the English dub, so I'm waiting for more English dub <laughs> episodes. I mean, I could just finish it in Japanese, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I started in English. I want to finish it in English. I love that there are so many lovable characters in the show. Pervy Sage, Jiraiya, Sasuke, you got Rock Lee. You have so many characters that you love them for their own qualities, even down to the bad guys. So then, oh, and Itachi. Don't even get me started on Itachi. Kabuto. Kabuto is my favorite bad guy. But now that I've gotten as far as I've gotten, I don't know how I feel about him right now. And it's going back to Orochimaru. <laughs> so I think Orochimaru is still like, you know, he's he's inching back up there to become my favorite bad guy again. But it was Kabuto because that dude is sneaky, okay? So, oh, and Gara. Don't we just love Gara so much? But you see what I'm saying? so many lovable characters in Naruto and then of course there's Naruto himself and his story which I really appreciate his story and I kind of got like a little thing going on between number three and my number two which I will reveal shortly and it was hard for me to place these two but I had a reasoning for why I decided that Naruto should be number three and number two should be Demon Slayer Tanjiro as the main character that's right got to love Tanjiro his story is is much different yeah the, it's similar very similar but what I admire about Tanjiro is that he doesn't have a nine tail fox living inside of him you know this is sheer utter willpower that this guy is going and slaying these demons and he's doing it to protect his sister yeah, I mean, Naruto is doing it to protect the village and all that stuff, but I am not trying to compare the two of them right now. In this particular video, I'm just giving you my top 10. So that's how Demon Slayer ended up being number two. And I absolutely love, mm, it's just so good. I love every minute of it. I love how he starts out basically alone and then just meets people along the way throughout his journey to, to get where he's going to go. To do what he's going to do and i love his personality i love how you know when it comes to taking care of business tanjiro he'll if you're a demon he's gonna cut you up he's taking your head off and <laughs> and that's gonna be it you know he's gonna do some water breathing and he's gonna take your head off and i love that even though it's a demon even after he cut your head off he's gonna tell you you know i hope you rest well you know what i'm sorry that you became a demon i'm sorry that your life ended up like this and I'm sorry that you chose this path or this path was given to you. You know, I'm gonna kill you, but I hope you rest in peace. And I appreciate that about Tanjiro. I mean, a lot of people be like, oh, he's he's too soft. He's a punk. Whatever. Say what you want to say. Hands down. And that's the other thing, too. I know I'm not supposed to do this. But my favorite Naruto character is Kakashi Sensei. My favorite Demon Slayer character is Tanjiro, the main character. So, absolutely and love last, it. But not least, my number one current favorite anime is Food Wars. That's right. It's so inappropriate. <laughs> and I can't get enough of it. It is the strangest, most awesome anime that I have ever seen. And I love it. I adore Soma Yukihira. His tenacity to get things done is so serious and it's just wonderful, you guys. It's an awesome, well put together show yet again. I did finish it and I love it and I own the the DVDs. Yes, I own the Blu-rays. <laughs> I own the Blu-rays of Food Wars because I need it and it's just like, first of all, they're cooking like this grade A quality food. And let's talk about the burst for a minute. Let's just talk about it. If you haven't seen it, um, pace yourself. Just watch episode one and you can decide whether or not you can you can handle it after you see that because it is intense. I love that Soma has grown up in the food industry, that he grew up with the shop that him and his dad have and that his dad and, and him do these competitions where they have these food battles between one another <laughs> and someone never never wins it's amazing it's just well put together the ending was good 
I loved it. Oh, and by the way, let's just go, let's go ahead and put it out Joichiro there. Joichiro Saiba? Yes, please. And Akira Haima can come smell every single spice I have in my cabinet. <laughs> An anime crush video sounds like it might be uh, called for here. We can do all of the anime characters that I have a hard crush on. And those two will certainly <laughs> be on that list. Honorable mentions. I have three honorable mentions here. And the first one is going to be Vampire Nights. It was really good. The ending was just, well, it was good, but it was good weird. And I didn't love it enough for it to make the top 10, but I do like it enough to just go ahead and mention it. I have not finished Love is War, but I do really like the mental gymnastics that that show puts you through. <laughs> I think it is awesome and I can't wait to finish it so that I can sort of develop my final feelings about it. And the third, but certainly not last, honorable mention goes to Showbiz because Showbiz has a special place in my heart. It's the first anime that my sister and I, after all those years of wanting to watch Sailor Moon, I still haven't watched Sailor Moon. We managed to find Showbiz right here on YouTube, piece all the videos together, and we watched all of Showbiz on YouTube. <laughs> so Showbiz just has a special place in my heart and I wanted to go ahead and mention that one as well. Now, let's talk about Momocon, you guys. It was so much fun. It was all these different characters. People were cosplaying heavy. Like the cosplay was so on point. It was so much fun. There were so many different things to do. There were so many different things to see. People were out there so late. <laughs> Oh man, and this, uh, or next year, whenever we go back, we're going to stay in the sea in an Omni in Atlanta. So that way we won't have to walk to, like last year we had, or I'm mixing up the year is because we're at the end of the year, but next year we won't have to walk to the hotel. Earlier this year, we had to walk from our hotel over to the CNN Omni hotel, but this upcoming year, we'll be able to stay at the CNN Omni and just walk downstairs to the convention itself. There was this big, huge room, the dealer's room, where you get to shop and oh my gosh, you guys, they had so much stuff for sale and just to look at. And people were down there playing games, like there was like gaming competitions going on. And then if you just kept walking, there were so many things to buy and I, I need to make sure I have my money put together for whenever we go back. I'm glad that we're talking about Momocon because I want to make sure I'm set to buy all the stuff I want this time. <laughs> because last time I was supposed to get some hair clips, totally forgot about the hair clips. And we ended up leaving and I forgot all about them until I got like halfway back. Like, no, my hair clips. So hopefully that person will be back next year. But aside from that, we got to see Goofy's voice actor and go to a panel. He talked about what it was like to become Goofy or to make the movies and he would talk in the Goofy voice while you were in the room and it was really interesting. We went to so many different panels. I went to a Black Butler trivia panel and people were, you know, they were playing a trivia game and they were cosplayed, like fully cosplayed as CL and Sebastian. It was so dope, you guys. I can't wait to go back. I definitely want to cosplay next year. That's it. That is it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and content like this. I certainly have more to talk about when it comes to anime. So if this was interesting to you and you would like to see more videos like this or just with anime as a content, please let me know. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, comment below what is your number one favorite anime of all time. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!